CW Blanks and Sublimation DTF members, it's Dawn, and today is Feature Friday, and I'm also going to do a little bonus tutorial, but today we are featuring our dual lid sippy cups, and these are shipped for me from Tennessee, and we've got two different styles, or um, we've got the regular glossy, and then we also have this beautiful shimmer sippy cup, and these are dual lid. So I did one on the regular glossy, and this is the design from Jessica Southern Strands, and she has all these cute new little animals she did. So make sure to check these out on her um, site, and also check out her uh, All Access Pass. So they actually come, the designs come with a little area that you can put a name. I just cut that off since I wasn't doing a name, but so this is a cute little tiger that I put on the glossy one, and we're gonna do this really cute giraffe together on the uh, shimmer one. <clears throat> so once they're you know done with their sippy, then it comes with another lid, and this is just a um, slider lid, but it's a twist lid, so that makes it nice, and it also comes with a straw. So it's not you know kind of a, oh, they have a sippy cup and they're done, and then it's a waste of a cup, really so they can transform it into a little tumbler so really really awesome um, product here and um, like I said so these are our dual sippy cups so we're gonna do the glossy one together like I said and what I do and it's really personal preferences I line it up I leave the lid on and I kind of line it up with the front um, and then there's kind of this middle, what I think is the middle of the back, and I line up the seam with that. Um, kind of just line it up there and try to hold it as best as I can and then take the lid off so that the design's in the front. And it's really up to you where you want to place your design. Um, so then once I do that, just make sure we get it on there tight. I got my roly-poly. I don't know if you can see. So hold on just a minute and let me come back. Okay, sorry about that. So once I get it lined up where I want it as far as the front or the back, then I'm just gonna use my little roly poly to help me here. Okay, and I've got it here. And then you wanna make sure it's nice and tight. And then I'm gonna do a piece of tape in the middle first. Okay. And like I said, everyone does, you know, their things different. And then I put a piece of tape on each end. And most people just use those three pieces of tape. I'm a little extra. And I put a little piece of tape down the seam here. So that's how I do mine. Um, but you want to make sure that you have it nice and tight. You don't want any air bubbles. Because that's what's going to cause your white spots. Um, is the air bubbles so when you get those white spots that means you've got air bubbles and on in your wrapping okay so let me get the press set up with the camera and I'll be right back okay so I've got Ursula set up this is my uh, purple press and I am using my resting temp at 355 my printing temp is at 358 and I'm going um, 35 seconds. So it really depends on, on your press, your environment, um, your humidity, cold, hot, are your blanks cold or hot? So it really varies for everyone. So I definitely recommend doing a strip test, checking your um, what's best for you. Not everyone is gonna have the exact same uh, time and temperature. So make sure you do your strip test on um, a tumbler and just really narrow down to your <clears throat> your sweet spot. I also use Cyclone 2.0 ink. Um, love the colors that I get with that. I mean, just beautiful colors. Of course, the design has beautiful colors, but the ink does too. So, once you get it all taped up, this is how I do it. Once again, everyone does something different. I put my seam facing out, and that just is my way of knowing that I had it that way. And then I'm going to rotate it in. So that's just how I keep in my mind 
how I've had it done and where I'm at. So I'm gonna put it in the middle, just barely any pressure on it, and it's gonna count down, then it's gonna come back up because now it's getting my blank up to temperature, and then once it reaches my printing temperature, it's going to um, count down. So when it gets close to that, we'll come back. And I wanted to mention as it's counting down that both Anna and Elena have the presses in, I think, the Sasquatch, the um, Sarge, and the pink. Um, I don't think they have any more purples, so, um, but check out the presses available on Anna and Elena's site. Um, and they also have covers that you can do to go over it. So we're counting down. Okay. So we've got that side done, and then we're gonna do this side. So now I'm gonna put my tape facing towards me because I had it the other way. So I'm just rotating it this way. And I wanna make sure that it gets back down below the printing temp because Right now, if I shut it, it's going to start counting down, and I'm not going to get that full time on this side. So you always want to make sure that your temperature gets back down below your printing temp so that you get that full time. Because if, if I had shut it right then, it would have um, started counting down, and I wouldn't have gotten my full time. So I'm going to face my seam towards me, okay. and then we're going to close it again. And like I said, the sippy cups are available on Anna's site, pnwblanksanna.com, or you can go to our landing site, pnwsub.com, and that will take you to Anna's site, Elena's site, and Elena's DTF site um, for our um, DTF from Elena, which is awesome. Those transfers are awesome. And I think she still has mystery packs going on. So check those out. And like I said, we've got the glossy and the shimmer in the dual lid. So we'll let this go down and we'll come back. All right, and we're counting down. Excuse my sniffles. I still got a little cold going on, but it's getting better, so. Okay. And then what you can do is just, you know, double check um, your bottoms and top, make sure they got done. If not, you can put it back, just put your bottom and top back in. Um, so that's perfect. And if you use tweezers like I do, just be careful that you don't scratch your thing. And that's perfect. So this is gonna be perfect. Uh, look at this on the shimmer. Hold on, let me get my other glove. This is adorable and the colors are beautiful for the shimmer. Look at that with the shimmer. Oh, I wish you could really see. This shimmer is so pretty. Especially with this little giraffe. Isn't that adorable? Okay, so we'll let that cool down. I'll come back real quick. Once it cools down, we'll put the lid on it and then we'll be done. All right, so here is our glossy with our lid on it. Or, I mean, our shimmer, sorry. So this is our shimmer. Hope you can see that shimmer. It's so pretty. Like in person, it's just beautiful. Look at my colors. Great design. These are, uh, both designs are from Jessica with Southern Strands, one of our approved designers. So make sure to check out her uh, page and her website and her uh, all access pass, which is awesome. And make sure to check out all our designers because they've all got some cute kid, kid things going on right now. Uh, but we've got our glossy and our shimmer. Remember, they come with the twist slider lid and a straw so that once they're done with their sippy portion, they can turn it into a cup. So, and then they come with a little straw. So these are on Anna site, shipping from Tennessee, pnwblanksanna.com. Check out our presses that are available from Anna and Elena um, and all the different weekly deals that both Anna and Elena have going on on their sites. Hope everyone has a great weekend. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Come join us on Facebook for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Happy pressing!